Hey everyone, on in the here, and uh, today I'll be showing you how to root the Samsung Galaxy Grand 2 running Android 4.4.2, which is KitKat. So yesterday I made a video showing this uh, KitKat ROM for this Galaxy Grand 2, and uh, thanks to the developer of XDA of this Galaxy Grand 2 section, made it possible to, and they came out with a root process with which one can root Galaxy Grand 2 running 4.4.2 quite easily. And I'll be showing you the every uh, means the process of rooting this grant too. So let's get started. Uh, at first, uh, do remember one thing that you need to download the super user and also the Odin, also the root file. So, guys, this is the root file. Uh, this is actually CWM, and this is the Odin. So, what I will do is uh, at first, you need to connect the phone to connect your phone uh, to com a computer or I'll provide the super user link just download it and uh, keep it on your phone or I mean to the external SD card or SD card internal whatever place you want and uh, next we'll download uh, this file I've already downloaded this and I'll post the link to the video description so you need to download it and uh, keep it on your computer and next we'll download this Odin after that uh, Currently my phone is switched off, so what we'll do is we'll directly go to the recovery mode. So directly go to recovery mode, the easiest way to is press volume down, it's home plus power, so volume down, home and power, like this. And guys do remember one thing that to able to uh, detect your phone in, down, in uh, Odin, you need the device USB drivers, so I'll provide the USB drivers as well on the video description next we will connect next we will connect uh, our phone ok and uh, we will open up this Odin application as you can see our device is connected over here and first things first we will just untick this auto reboot auto reboot should be turned off Next, we'll click on AP and select the CWM, and uh, we'll click on Start. It will flash the recovery. Once it's done, once it's yes. So as I was saying, like uh, once it's done, we will unplug the USB cable and we'll pull out the battery. Okay. And we'll wait for five seconds. After waiting for five seconds, we'll uh, put the, we'll reinsert the battery, and we'll directly go to recovery mode. To go to directly go to recovery mode. The easiest way is to press the volume up, home, and power. So volume up, home, and power. And it was saying like uh, recovery button. Just wait. Yes, so we are in uh, CWM. Next, we'll select this install zip. Go to the location where you have kept the super user. I have kept it on the external SD card. Here is the file. I'll in and I'll install it. Next we'll go back and we'll reboot system now. And it says like uh, root access possibly lost. You want to fix it? You, you click on fix. And if you see anything which says like uh, disable recovery flash, yes or no, you will select the disable recovery flash. And it says like fix root, we will select yes. And selection process is done by this power button. Next, we'll let the phone boot itself. And guys, uh, let me tell you that I've already been tried to root this device before on this 4.4. That's why. Uh, that's why 
the, um, one option will not show on my phone but it will show on your phone so I'll tell you how to recover from there okay all right next we'll open this super user and once you open this super user see over here it uh, it says like stay up today and all these things we'll select no thanks but on your phone it will not show like this it will show like if you're doing this for the first time it will show like uh, Samsung Knox is detected do you want to disable it and you will select yes okay you you will disable this and once you select yes it will try to uh, disable the Knox and it will show like uh, Knox has been successfully disabled and, and after it's done you will go to recovery mode once again and we'll directly go to recovery mode from here so volume up home and power after disabling Knox do this process once you open the super user it will ask for disable Knox yes or no you will select yes next we will directly go to the recovery mode and we will flash the super user once again the same super user okay and we will reboot the system and it says like root fix you will select yes root fix and that's it I've already tried to uh, root my phone that's why that uh, disable Knox is not showing anymore as my Knox is uh, already disabled but on your phone it will show like disable Knox yes or no you will select yes uh, now we'll try to check using the root checker if this device got finally rooted or not yeah so finally I got this uh, request and will select on grant after granting, we'll try to check once again. Yes, and as you can see, it says like normalization the device has root access. Okay. Uh, okay, so that's it for this video, guys. If you like this video, then please click on like button and thanks for watching. And if any comments regarding this video or if you can't uh, means you are unable to root using this method then please feel free to comment down below and thanks for watching this is on take care